Have you ever heard of someone stepping on a rusty nail and then needing a tetanus shot? It's not necessarily the rust or the nail that can lead to tetanus. It's the possibility of the bacteria they could carry into your wound. Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a serious infection that causes your neck and jaw muscles to lock up. This results in stiff, rigid muscles and painful muscle spasms. The bacteria that causes tetanus is found in soil that's rich in organic material, like manure and dead leaves. It enters your body through breaks in your skin, like cuts and puncture wounds, then becomes a poison that blocks the nerve signals from your spinal cord to your muscles. This can cause muscle spasms so severe that they break your bones. In other words, tetanus isn't something you want to contract. The good news is that only about 30 cases of tetanus are reported in the U.S. each year, and we have vaccines to thank. In infants, the tetanus vaccine is given as a combination vaccine that also protects you from two other conditions, diphtheria and whooping cough. They're given in a series of three to four shots known as Tdap. After your Tdap vaccine, you'll still need a tetanus booster about every 10 years. Boosters help make sure that the vaccine is going strong and giving you maximum protection. Sometimes, though, a doctor may recommend that you get an emergency tetanus shot, even if you're up to date on your vaccines. If you step on a rusty nail, for example, your doctor might give you another tetanus booster just to be safe. And they'll take it a step further if your wound is very deep or severe, or if it's contaminated with dirt, saliva, or feces. In that case, you'll receive a shot of something called tetanus immunoglobulin. This shot is only given to people who are thought to have been exposed to tetanus. It can even be given to people who are already fully vaccinated against tetanus. After you've been infected, a tetanus immunoglobulin shot can remove some of the tetanus toxin from your system, which can make your illness less severe. But the best way to protect yourself from tetanus is to stay fully vaccinated as you age and to take good care of any cuts, injuries, and other wounds. Be sure to keep them clean with soap and water, and please watch out for rusty nails.